So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second tutorial for Ionic Framework login application with Firebase which would be a social application where user can log in with their social accounts. So if you are new to Firebase uh, and uh, probably Ionic as well then you might want to check out previous some previous tutorials in the playlist to get an idea but if you're good enough stick with me and we'll just sort out the things. So what we want to do now is pretty much implement an interface where the user can actually um, click on some buttons like login with Facebook and then the Facebook modal open up, opens up and the user types their credential and hit login and they're um, good to go you get the access token and blah 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 and all that stuff so we would be doing that but the problem is that on devices there's nothing such thing as a pop-up or yeah there it is but not in the way like we implement it um, in the authentication flow control for example on the web what we do is that we implement a login with Facebook button you click on that button you get a pop-up you enter your credentials you hit enter and you are good to go on the website but on an Android app it's kind of inconvenient to do because people usually when they have let's say Facebook application already installed on their phone why the heck would they want to enter the credentials again in some sort of pop-up window right so for actual production code for Ionic what we will be doing is that we would be switching our application to make use of some plugins but for the time being for testing what we want to do is actually make use of the pop-up things which I was telling so because if we do it from the very start then either we have to use an emulator every time which is kind of a slow process if uh, you don't have a lot of power and plus moreover um, you know actually web is a lot faster to run right to reflect changes so what we would be doing is we would be creating our own whole application in one go on the web and then we would be adding some code inside our existing code which would check if the platform running is Cordova which is essentially on a device then we would be making use of the Cordova plugins for the same all right so let's get started so let's just say I say ionic start uh, social login hit enter uh, let's just go with the blank one yep and uh, let it just download I'm gonna pause here a little because uh, I'm suffering a lot from my internet connection these days a new place and a lot of problems a lot of restrictions in this college and yeah so I'm just gonna wait actually right now as well I'm running a VPN so it kills a little bit of speed as well so yeah let's just wait okay so I was away and looks like it's done so we can just open this social login and say ionic serve and it will just start a local development server and uh, just let it start so meanwhile what I want to do is uh, actually go to console.firebase.google.com to take a look and uh, we would precisely need these two things only for now and here what we can do is uh, either you can create a new project or um, use any existing project if you have and precisely um, what I have right now is this API project because uh, um, I have exceeded my free projects limit here at Google so what you want to do is go to this authentication and uh, hit this uh, sign in methods and go with the Facebook one here first and what we want is an app ID and an app secret now for that what we want to do is go to developer.facebook.com slash apps and you would need to create a new application here so what I want to do is uh, um, add a new application and uh, let's just call it something like ionic social login 
and we would probably need a uh, human verification here and uh, we should be good to go um, real soon so here we are now what I want to do is I want to add a Facebook login so I'm gonna set it up for the web right now right and what I want is uh, we can actually just skip it we can just write localhost here and we can probably continue and next and next again next and yeah so we can just go to the settings one here and what I want to do is uh, inside our valid valid o3 direct URLs I want to copy this thing and paste it right here right and hit save because this thing right here says us to complete the setup add this o3 direct URL to your Facebook app configuration which we have uh, done right so again I want to go to the dashboard to take a look at what my app ID and app secret is so my app ID is this one and for the app secret I guess I need to enter my password again so my password is um, that's not what I'm gonna <laughs> tell you guys so there we are with the app secret as well hit save and we are good to go for the Facebook with Firebase now what we want is uh, actually implementing this thing um, on the Ionic app right so we can do open this first of all in sublime text something like this inside our source pages home home.ts right we need to actually um, set up the um, login system for this thing so we would want to install the angular fire 2 and the firebase first in our project so let's just install that and wait again a little bit and yeah by the way I just forgot to tell you that um, I will just leave a link in the description for all this code so you can um, check out that if you are not a fan of installing packages manually and writing some code but I guess you should do that yourself so that um, you get a little bit familiar how to set things up now the next thing is again we need to add our firebase to our application uh, we can just go to the web setup here copy our configuration files or the configuration right go to our app module and right here just paste this bad boy and the next thing is uh, just importing this thing inside our declaration or imports I guess imports it is there we go and this is just the config and then finally what we want is the angular fire module imported and our angular fire um, auth module as well and uh, we want to inject the auth module so that we can make use of uh, the authentication stuff we have right so that's pretty much it for this part and we're gonna head over to home.ts now and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, actually set up our firebase so I'm gonna first of all import fire firebase um, from or rather let me just get it like firebase from firebase like that and right here let's just create a functional login with Facebook and log out of Facebook um, right and then for the home.html we're gonna say um, something like button ion button login with Facebook and uh, uh, we're gonna again say button ion button log out of Facebook right and uh, again let's just say click is uh, login with Facebook and the click one for this one is uh, log out 
of Facebook and all that stuff is done so let's just get to the meat and actually we are just missing one final import and that would be import from angular fire 2 and this should be angular fire um, module I don't think so that it was angular fire module it was rather angular fire auth and this should be auth yeah so we are now ready to rock and roll so what I want to do is finally just inject this as a dependency as well here um, by doing something like private fire angular fire auth and now we can say this dot fire dot uh, auth dot sign in with pop-up and what I want is new firebase dot uh, let's just see firebase dot auth dot auth provider and dot uh, it was somewhere here yeah Facebook auth provider right so this is our auth provider for the firebase and what I want to do is once this done let's just console log what this bad boy contains all right and then finally right here we can say this dot fire dot auth dot sign out as simple as that uh, we should be good to go fire up a console on the right and just hit login with Facebook and it's full screen right now so you can see that it takes um, kind of it does not look like a pop-up when it actually is one so again yeah net is a bit slow here so you might want to stick with me be with me rather uh, let's just continue with our app And let's just wait for a second and see what we have got here. Alright. You can see that we got something console logged. And you can see that we have got all of our my access token and all of that stuff which Facebook provides by default. Like the email address, the display name, the profile URL, the photo URL. And uh, I also have the access token to query other information from the graph API if the user approved all of the permissions. Again, I can just log it out off of there. And we, since we are not console logging to anything, so we don't get anything. So yeah, that was a very bare minimum implementation of Facebook login with Ionic and Firebase. And in the next tutorial, we're going to improve upon that a little bit by actually showing users some content, some relevant content related to their information like their name or email address and um, profile URL, uh, profile picture, why not? So yeah, that's all for this one and if you liked it, then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.